zinc anodes. All right, I've seen the zinc pucks online. I have an inline zinc anode that is electrically connected to the system. I don't see how a non-electrically grounded anode just sitting in the skimmer can do that. Well, you're right in most respects. So what happens is trace voltage in the, uh, the pool, you always wanna draw that out of the water and take it to ground. That's the ideal scenario, what you have. What these other sacrificial anodes are that you would put into the bottom of the skimmer, it's a fail safe that if there's any trace voltages that are streaming through the water, what, they, what those voltages do is they attack that. It's called a sacrificial anode. And they attack that zinc and destroy the zinc, in turn eliminating some of that voltage. You're not eliminating it completely, but you're, drastic, you're reducing the amount of voltage in the water. The proper way to do it is to attract that, that voltage through the water to an anode and then out of an anode into ground, into your bond wire is basically what hooks up to that, and then down into ground. That's the best case scenario. But in a lot of cases, they're not, it's not possible. Or they're not required on pools. And I know some builders that would never think to install mm -hmm. an anode. Mm -hmm. And is that mm -hmm. okay? Uh, for a salt pool, I think that it's really short-sighted. I, I do know of one builder that the way he describes installing a salt system is, pardon the way I use this, but this is his story, not mine. He said, it's like a, fine, it's like a woman. No, no, seriously, this is a conversation I had. Okay. He said, a, a salt system, you put it on a pool, and it's like a woman, where you have to learn the nuances of the woman to understand what she likes. It, it's a, actually a really good analogy. And he said, what I do is I take all that extra time to understand how the pool is responding with the salt and all of that, and then I never have an issue with the equipment. And that was his description, and it, he's never put an anode on. To me, it makes okay, zero I'm sense sorry, whatsoever. That's complete BS. I'm I'm just telling you that's a guy in our market in, that's a guy in our market that's what he does and he's never had equipment problems and he's never had to my knowledge any problems with the salt systems so good to know, good to know. okay um, I would certainly say for the little bit of money that it would cost to buy an it okay and on top of that this is a guy building really expensive high dollar stuff that a $28 plumb in anode should be a no-brainer yeah doesn't use them for those pools that, that you just can't and sometimes we even put them additionally sometimes at the bottom of the skimmer it's simply a sacrificial anode and it it slowly breaks down that zinc and it doesn't solve the problem but it curbs the problem when you can electrically ground it out or bond it out to get it to ground that's going to take care of the problem so hopefully that answers it There's well kind of a, it'll take care of the problem mostly sometimes right. every pool is different and sometimes you get those weird situations right but because no. you also have active line voltages leaching into the pool somewhere. Yeah. All right, there you go. Story for another day. <laughs>